TweenCraft lets you animate your story using your imagination and voice with your smartphone and microphone, making animation fun and accessible. In this video, I am going to explain everything that you need to know about TweenCraft and how to use it even if you don't know anything about it yet. Once you have gone through this video, you will be able to make your own video and share it wherever you want immediately. Over the course of this video, we are going to cover installation and launching of app, how to make your first video, all the features of TweenCraft and sharing your stories with the world. So whether you are new to the app or have been using the app for a while now, the fundamentals that we are going to cover here will be helpful for you no matter what level you are at. Let's get into it. Installation. Let's start from installation. You will find the app in the Play Store, so just go to the Play Store and search for TweenCraft or you click the link from the description. The TweenCraft is of this icon. Click on install, wait for a moment and be done. Onboarding. Now I'm going to take you through the entire onboarding process. Launch the app. On the first launch we will be greeted by a language selection page. You can select your preferred language here. The app will be converted in the same language that you will select here. You can change this language anytime from the settings menu. Press done and wait for a moment. Now we are inside the application. This is a feed page. This page will show various types of content that are created by other TweenCraft users. There are a total of four tabs. First one is feed tab for browsing content. Second tab is your notifications. Middle button is to create your story. Third tab is for upcoming challenges. And the last tab is your profile tab, which contains all of your stories and info. Now we will start creating our video. Press the center button to create your video and wait for a moment. It's going to introduce you to one quick tutorial. The basic idea is simple. Just add two frames which are different from each other and press on play. Your animation will be ready. Add in character. To add a character, just go to this panel and tap on characters. Now you can select any character from this panel. To use any character, you need to download it. I will download this character. Once the download is complete, this download icon will be removed. Any character without this icon is already downloaded. I will tap on this character to add this character to the scene. Characters have been added. Adding a background. Adding background is exactly similar to adding a character. Just click on this background icon, download a background, tap on the background again and done. Recording dialogues. Now one of the most highlighted features of this app is dialogue recording. When you record a dialogue in the app, the character moves their lips in the same way. To do this, you will need minimum one character in the scene. Every character has a mic for recording voice. Tap on the mic and say hello world. Now I will add a frame and play my animation. Hello world. While playing the animations, you will realize that the character mouth also moves according to your voice. This helps in making your story come alive. Basic animation. Now let's see how to make a basic animation and what is the concept of frames in TweenCraft. So the small image that you can see at the bottom right is called a frame. Whatever is happening in the main screen will be visible in the active frame. So first of all, we can move the character in the scene and move the body parts. Notice the same changes have taken place here as well. You can move the character to your liking and add a frame or save a frame by tapping on the button. Now I have tapped on it. All the changes are saved in the previous frame. And now this is the current frame in which we are making changes. You can change anything here to your liking and save another frame. Now when you play it, whatever changes you have made in the previous two frames, they will play as a video, like this. Let's make a jump animation by using the same concept that we have discussed previously. The only thing that you need to know is to add two frames which are different from each other and press play. Your animation will be ready. We have covered all the things that you need to make a story till now. Now let's quickly go through some extra stuff that can make your story even better. Import image slash gif. This will allow you to add external images and gifs to your story. Click on the photo slash gif icon, select a file from your downloaded section, done. Add text bubbles. 
This will allow you to add text to your story or add bubbles to your characters. Click on the add text icon, select a style, add text and done. Add background music. This will allow you to add background music to your story. Just tap on the background music icon, tap on play to listen to the music. Once you like a music, tap on add and go back. You can only add one background music in a frame. Add sound effects. This is very similar to background music. These are short sound effects that you can add to your story at specific points. Just tap on the sound effects icon. Tap on play to listen to the sound. Once you like a sound, tap on add and go back. You can only add one sound effect in a frame. Frame options. Frame options allow you to change property of a frame. Tap on a frame and you will see frame options menu. You can change speed of the frame by sliding the slider left or right. You can delete a frame. You can copy a frame and paste it anywhere you want. You can change how a camera behaves when you move or zoom the camera. Character options. Character options lets you change moods and properties of characters. Tap on the character to see character options. You can change your character's moods. Tap on the character and change any mood that you like. You can delete the character by tapping on the delete button. You can adjust the character by sliding on rotate or scale sliders from the adjust tab. You can also adjust the character using your two fingers while you are in character options menu. Zoom and move. Zoom and move will allow you to control camera in scene. Just use two fingers to zoom or move the camera. Undo. You can press the undo button whenever you don't like something that you have done. Create custom characters. One of the most requested features was custom characters and here it is. You can create your own character through this feature. Tap on character icon, tap on create your own character, tap on style that you like and start adding items to the character. Once you are satisfied with the character, give a name and save the character. You can use this character in your story anytime you like. Exporting your story. Once your story is completed, you can export your story and share it anywhere you want. You will have to log into the app before you export your story. You can log in through Facebook or Google, whichever you are comfortable with. After login, tap on save, give a name and export. You can follow us on any social platform that are given in the description.